Thousands of people gathered in Tunisia's capital city, Tunis, on Saturday. People protested against the government and demanded relief from the ongoing economic crisis. They also demanded the release of those arrested during protests earlier this year. The demonstrations marked the eighth death anniversary of a prominent activist who was killed in 2013. Chokri Baled was killed outside his home. The incident was followed by another killing of a left-wing activist. The incident plunged Tunisia into a state of chaos. And this triggered a wave of protests in the country that led to a grand bargain between the Islamist and secular political parties to stop violence from escalating. Tunisia's revolution in 2011 triggered the Arab Spring, which was considered to be the country's best chance of bringing about a democratic change. Protesters in Tunis held demonstrations against police brutality. This time, they were backed by Tunisia's labor union. It is the country's most powerful political organization, with more than a million members. Protesters defied the police lockdown, which was put in place to keep the roads blocked in the capital. Tunisian Prime Minister Hichem Machichi announced a government reshuffle in the midst of the unrest. He promised that the new team would concentrate on creating jobs and improving living conditions. The country's economy took a major blow due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Tunisia's neighboring countries, Morocco and Algeria, have already started vaccinating their populations against the infection. However, Tunisia has yet to receive the vaccines. Authorities have given an emergency authorization to the use of the Russian vaccines, Sputnik V, but has not ordered any doses so far. <laughs> Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.